see she don't fuck with you cause she don't fuck with bitch niggas and you know it ain't a hidden love Scanny ass bitch there yeah. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, I'll be Skinny, with my beautiful girlfriend, Skinny Yo. And today, we are here to check out, motherfucker, everything wrong with Smooth Criminal. You know what I'm saying? The Michael Jackson song. And this is by uh, Music Video Sins. I checked out his, uh, damn, I forgot what his original thing, Cinnamon Sins, I think. Was it that? I don't remember. It was I just know, I, I know it's movies. Yeah, he do movies, but... Them shit, I fucked with it. So now I gotta see what's wrong with this the smooth criminal video. Obviously. Obviously, whenever you open a door to a speakeasy, you're immediately met with hurricane force winds and celestial lights. Also, if the wind is as strong, I don't care how smooth you are, blowing you over the fence and knocking over homeless children. Who are these kids? And aren't they just hanging around behind a fence hoping Michael Jackson might walk down this alley? Everything goes silent and everyone stomps and stares at the stranger who just walked in a bar cliche. Cats are not good public speakeasy companions. I mean, a full minute has gone by and still no song. <laughs> Despite the fact that his coin flipping is this accurate, jukeboxes rarely start up without picking a song first. At first, everyone was scared of Michael when he walked into the club, but now they can coordinate a dance with him at a moment's notice. Oh, well, that's convenient, because hardly anything rhymes with window. Also, can crescendo be a sound, since a crescendo <laughs> is an increase in loudness? Violent murder always makes for great pop song fodder. This guy at the table saw everyone else erupt and dance, and he said, not me, asshole. That'd be me. <laughs> why is this guy sharing this story of an unsolved murder in a crowded club? Open mic night. Also, why did you need the jukebox if there was a live band here? And how and why are they acting like they're playing the song the jukebox is obviously supplying? And also, where's the lead singer who was hired for this bar band gig before anyone knew MJ was going to crash the party? There's no piano in the actual song that's not being made by Cassio. Funny how a bit of good music removes all that awkward animosity the video took great lengths to point out when he walked in the bar. No one is the least bit put off by the random mid-song murder. Michael callously dances right over a recent gunshot victim. MJ saves this woman from a life of being a sex object. Oh, spoke too soon. No dice? No dice. Also, whenever I lose at gambling, I immediately get up and dance my f***ing ass off. I'm wondering what Michael would have done next if this guy didn't completely suck at pool. This fighting technique is famous in speakeasy culture, where cue balls are plentiful, and bad guys can wait interminable amounts of time to have dust blown in their faces. Ooh. This guy is pissed. Here comes a f***ing beatdown, right? I mean, right? Oh, I guess he's okay with Michael just dancing in front of him after destroying the cue ball and blowing cue ball dust in his face. Ah, uh, <laughs> casual domestic violence. Don't you miss the 80s? Also, after finding out that Annie wasn't okay, Michael decides he's going to be there in time to save all the women. Also, who are these two chicks just casually drinking while another woman is getting slapped around in the doorway? This guy hasn't even been wronged by Michael, but wants to fight him anyway. He's more upset yeah. than the guy who got his cue ball smashed and dust blown in his face a minute ago. And this video is f***ing violent. I just wanted to tell you... What a big fan I am. <laughs> Michael's gunshot transports this dude into another dimension. Michael taunts the hole in the wall that the bad guy was shot through. This club's fire escape is on the inside of the club. But the owners grease the codes, inspectors, so it's cool. I wish the people in this club would make up their minds about whether they want to kill MJ or dance with... Before we go on, it started off kind of like, yeah, what the fuck. But Cinema Sins, Music Video Sins, whatever his real name is, this thing is a smart motherfucker. Like he is very. It is, but he also be picking out like assholey stuff. Yeah, yes, like, very, <laughs> very, but. Just like shit that's like, all right. Duh, like nigga, like, we know that, <laughs> right? But it's still the regular person wouldn't. Oh, bam! The fucking, there's no piano in the song, but they're back there playing like the like yeah. like, like shit I never like that. that. Like it's, it makes for a good music video, but in real space continuum time i don't know what what the, what the fuck the, the shit is right. in, in real life it ain't like that but no shout out to him with it because it's kind of exhausting trying to guess i just want to know with all the drum beats synth noises etc in this song why are the pianist saxophonist and cellist still pretending to play because it's not like this song has any of those instruments in it literally i don't know how your speakeasy dances but mine randomly incorporates aerial chair props michael does one of his most badass moves and it's obscured by the dancing mob here's my vagina also is annie really okay <laughs> who cares let's dance the night away eating circus that's is one no question i never Michael's. really figured out is annie okay and what and who what, is Annie? Yeah, and what was happening to Annie? Is that why he was going through all this like a Mario level but fighting people? I think, I think one of his other songs might explain what happened to Annie. Really? 
Yeah, I think Annie is a little girl. Like, I feel like I remember seeing this, but I just don't know, like, what song it is. I remember or seeing it, it when I was video. younger, but it was just kind of like, oh, this nigga getting busy. This nigga dancing on fucking <laughs> piano. This nigga was going crazy. But now it's just like, damn. Uh, it, man, this nigga always fucking videos up, man. I swear. Because his videos, like, his videos be having, um, like, stories to them. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And I bet, I actually watched everything wrong with a uh, thriller and this thing was real life picking up so much shit and it was just like damn that music video was really stupid <laughs> but back then that shit went viral and people loved it because it was hot because yeah. everybody was making like full-on stories out of their shit to you. exactly T- times change people do that now some actually no nah, not a lot of people yeah really people don't do that it. anymore real, now people yeah. record videos on their front porch yeah shit. for real for real <laughs> good videos and all that but no nah, michael jackson that shit was they involved makeup di- choreography motherfucking movie man michael jackson's a motherfucking legend for real talk he really is spinning this man is much too casual as glass rains down on him michael's charisma slow dancing and fervent snapping turns the group into orgy zombies it's not a michael jackson video without a three minute break during the song (laughs) this is the part where i leave the club and don't ask any further questions this cat is exhibiting a poor audition to be michael's keyboardist although it will later go on to have a terrific career with prince it is my opinion that very few people are okay in this video I was told Harvey Keitel studied this video for the last scene of Reservoir Dogs. Some of the extras thought they were still in the Thriller video. You assholes didn't give a shit about Annie a couple of minutes ago. Did Michael have to break a window for you to understand the gravity of the situation? Also, is Annie lost in the orgy somewhere? Oh, sure, why not? Let's toss a poor street urchin with a teddy bear into this already six-minute-long video video. that included one brief shot of spying children in the opening, but has otherwise had nothing to do with homelessness or children, instead focusing on violent crime and dance-offs. First, Michael just walks in after a cloud of smoke. Then this little girl comes up and starts spying on a dance-off. Where's the goddamn security at this place? Ah, <laughs> uh, it was done with strings, kids, and Santa Claus doesn't exist. That shit was hot, though. Yeah, I'm woo, trying to do I'm that going to the fridge to get a snack. Right, fair. It's pretty cool. It makes no damn sense, but cool. Sure, kid intermission. I will never understand why they tried to squeeze a Newsy-style kid storyline into this video. Never. Not even after I die and go to hell and have MJ himself explain it to me. The street uh-huh. kid somehow up this late at night. Terrible. That was terrible. It was. Oh my god. I love Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> We're gonna run that line back. That was that. But cool. Sure. Kid intermission. I will never understand why they tried to squeeze a newsy style kid storyline into this video. Never. Not even after I die and go to hell and have MJ himself explain it to me. The street kid somehow terrible. up this late at night unsupervised and spying on a speaking he decides a smooth criminal is his role model, which sounds about right. It was Don't funny drink any juice that dude offers you, kid. Also, is it safe to assume these kids witnessed the murders we've seen in this speakeasy so far? Because, hello, night terrors, am I right? Prepubescent pelvic thrusting. I really didn't find any sins during this full minute of dancing, except the fact that I had to watch a full minute of dancing at the eight minute mark of a damn music video. Yeah, that's seems really a lot of After eight minutes of a thorough investigation in a nightclub, Michael is still unsure of whether Annie is okay is in really her apartment. Who called the fucking SWAT team? Also, none of these police wanted to check an apartment with a dying lady, but they did hear a black guy was dancing in the club, so they came right over to put an end to that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> in this video walk on the beat the child abduction goes unexplored in a michael jackson video shocking right now these people were just fighting michael a minute ago now they're shielding him from gunfire with their bodies i guess a mid-song orgy will really bring a group of people together there must have been a secret compartment on the dance floor where mj keeps his tommy gun gangster michael opens fire on bad guys but no windows are damaged and the bad guys just stand there getting not shot this guy is shielding himself shot. with his bass guitar <laughs> quick this way guy who was the shady stranger to us a few minutes ago Shit, this video is over nine and a half minutes long I don't have the kind of attention span required to... Oh, hey, what's that over there? Cops completely surrounded the building, but were not smart enough to cover this easily accessible exit. Woman who helps Michael escape seems unconcerned about the impending bloodbath. The end? Wait, the end? That's it? Really? I have to download Moonwalker to see how this turns out? Okay, so maybe that's it. Moonwalker was a... a it's game, though. Whatever happened to him. Yeah, he did have a, a game. I was playing it back when I... I don't know if Because there's a video where all this shit goes demuted. down. Like, but I just crazy. don't remember what it's called. I, that, Michael Jackson got a lot of shit. I swear. Damn. I think it's, it's this one called, like, Human Nature or, or yeah. something. Is it? I don't know. He got this one song, but I swear that shit is just so beautiful. It got a lot of beautiful songs. 
Like, even the ones that didn't really, like, blow up majorly are still good songs. Shout out motherfucking Michael Jackson. Uh, shout out music video stands, even though, you know what I'm saying, he be on some dickhead shit. <laughs> he oh, still yeah. is a smart motherfucker. So, shout out to him. R.I.P. Michael Jackson. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that. Till next time, YouTube. Yo. <laughs> I'm famous with the chicken and the biscuits. I feel like Bojangles with his grease. I be dripping. Uh, I took all the sauce out the kitchen. I dripped on my shoes. Now them hoes really kicking. Uh, I dripped on my shoes. Now they kicking. Uh, I dripped on my shoes. Now they kicking. Uh, I took all the sauce out the kitchen. I feel like Bojangles with the chicken and the biscuits. Uh. Yeah, bitch, I got the chicken in the business world running for and fast. I fucked around and got a ticket. Never been the type of nigga flexing for some bitches. If I'm piecing some shit that I want, then I'ma get it.